Alright, from one bad waste of uh, materials to another, we're going to try a JAD task. Another thing I'm not very familiar with, but and we're going to try it, melee it. Uh, it's definitely the best idea to do the first time you do it, but <laughs> here we go. Let's do this. Oh, I think we just call it here. I think we just call it here and let him kill us like that. Do we lose our stuff? Hopefully not. Well, that went horribly wrong, just like I thought it would go. A lot of wasted materials, like usual. Alright, well, since we've noticed that my uh, skills are very lacking in the PVM department, I think we're going to have to try to unlock the next relic to even attempt to be more broken, because that's, I desperately need the help. Uh, it's not really because of my gear. Like, yes, this isn't great gear for the PVMing I'm doing. It, uh, you know, most people will do, like... And they'll have Barrow's armor at least, or maybe they'll have a piece of uh, a God Wars boss, but I couldn't even kill him even though I know people have. It would help a lot if I had the second relic changed to the teleport. It'd be really nice. It wouldn't have mattered. Anyway, I can't kill Bandos one time, but it would help. Um, and then for Jad, I, I'm just bad, guys. I'm just not, not good at this game PVMing, even though I want to be. So... We're going to try and do a ton of tasks. It's just probably going to be probably a long montage and a lot of time pass. Uh, but we need a lot of points. And they're going to be tasks I don't ever do. And I don't know how to do. Like, uh, for the most part, you know, achievement diaries. I don't do those very often. Like, ever. <laughs> but... There's like a task for doing all of them all the way up through Elite, so probably gonna do a lot of that. Maybe we also I also have to do some farming because I'm gonna need some farming levels. I know that. And this is gonna be a long little sequence. I can see it already. Boss Island Wyvern going down, I imagine soon. Wyvern down. Hey, they gave us a rune pickaxe. That also gives us 100 points for doing that. Rune pickaxe actually helps out a lot. Reached 110 combat, 100 points. The battle staff right there, which should be another 50 points. All right, well, we're going to act like uh, I just got here and got to the point where I got, you know, I, I grabbed one of these and I was like, ooh, I got 30 gold nuggets, Kapating. Because I, I definitely, I got 30 nuggets, but it was on my phone because I was away for a while and grinding mining. Then we have 80 mining now, which took a while, and we've collected quite a bit of ore. So I, I guess I'm going to level up smithing because I'm trying to level up some skills here on the side just so I can do some diary tasks. I didn't need 90 or 80, technically 92 mining, but I did need higher mining. And I needed to collect all these so I could actually get much higher smithing for some of the diary tasks. And there's the knight sword done with a large amount of smithing XP. I did not get to see it off the set corner of my eye. I am at 60 smithing now. That went up an okay amount. It definitely helps. But it didn't go up as much as I would like. You can do dragon squares though. But I think we were... I want to say we were in the 50s before. Either way, that's still a big boost to what it's going to take. I have to get it to 81, I want to say, to actually complete the diary I want to complete. So, ooh, we got to grind. I don't even know if I'm going to have enough to do it, but uh, we'll see. Hey, reach base level 40s. All right. All right, there's 50 rune crafting. That wasn't really what I was doing last time you saw me, so don't think you missed something. I was smithing, but I actually... Uh, I was going to superheat some gold ore that I got when I was mining, but I was pretty low on runes for it, nature runes anyway. So I went from 39 to 50, so that brings us technically to 62, which is nice because that'll let me do a couple more extra, um, a couple more tasks, like multiple rune tasks. I can go do water runes again, and I can actually make four now. I'm pretty sure that's a task. 
I also need to go make Cosmics, and I have the uh, Talisman for it, which I, I don't exactly know where the Cosmic is, but I think it's in uh, the Fairy area. I think I can just go there and make some Cosmic Runes, which I think I'll do as well, and I'm high enough to make two of those at a time, which I think is another task, and it's another task, I think, to make four of one rune at the same time, and I need to go make an Air Rune. Uh, I think I can make an Earth Rune, maybe even a Mind Rune, or a Body Rune, I mean. I think all those runes will give me a task, which is good because it'll get me closer to unlocking the next you know, area, which I'm still very far away from. So I might go through and do a bunch of those. We'll see what happens. And then we'll go back to superheating bars, which unfortunately will definitely not get me to my goal. I need some way to get like a ton of coal. I only got to 64 from just doing all adamant bars and I ran out of coal to complete my adamant. I still have plenty of adamant ore. I have 127 bars worth, but I just can't get the coal. The only thing that I can even imagine getting coal from right now is going to fight Cerberus, which I'm not sure I'm high enough Slayer level for anyway. I think I am to actually just go and fight him. But I can't take him. No, I still need two more levels to even attempt to fight Cerberus. I'm a little worried, though, because I couldn't even fight any of the other bosses I fought, and it didn't go so well. But if I get to 91 Slayer, which I might do here soon i'll maybe go try cerberus i could also do the cave kraken which will uh give me the chance to get the trident but i'm not high enough magic to use it right now anyway so it's whatever i really want to get to 93 actually because smoke devils so what i hear aren't that hard and it's like a 500 task if you just kill smoke devil and then kill the the boss so i don't know we might grind some slayer up unfortunately i can't do any um super slayer training because i don't have mortania unlocked so i can't do any bigger and better even though i unlocked it unfortunately all right, well, that's all of my gold bars superheated. It actually, if you notice here on Rune, uh, Rune Light, it gave a ton of XP an hour on magic, almost 1.4 mil, actually. I gained three, almost four levels just from just making runeite bars, which probably only took me 15 minutes. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was boring as shit, and you just had to stare at your screen and pay attention, but... And it also gave 730k mining ex or smelting experience, which... To be fair, I'm only at 12 times XP. I could be at 16 times, so it could be even better. But I'm trying to get that up there to get stuff for 16 times. But uh, yeah, so I'm much closer to being able to use a trident now with my magic. Uh, and I gained some levels with smelting. So, I mean, I'm almost boosted at 80, which is not bad. But I need it to be boosted at 91 so I can... Uh, personally make a rune crossbow that's the task i have to do for i think ardun but i don't know if i'm actually going to get that one done so the elite task or whatever which one that is this might have to wait but we did up it a lot so most tasks can get done i think i have to get it to 81 boosted for another smithing task so i will try to get it there but other than that let's get to the rune grind or the rune crafting grind a little bit do a couple i'm not really trying to level it up anymore i'm just trying to go for tasks that i think exist so let's go ahead and do that and there's one right now, fill a large bag, which I did because I got the level 50 now. Another task down. Got it. It's Crift. <laughs> Crift. It's Craft 50, which is still fine because we have more in our inventory. So, bang. There's Craft 50 Cosmic Runes. I knew there was one to it. All right, this should be another task right here. Craft four runes with one essence. Nailed it. Okay. And Arun crafted. Check. Also 51 rune crafting. I'll take it. Maybe this is one? I'm not really positive. We're gonna see though. Well, it was a diary task, which is also a good thing. Alright, that might have been all of the tasks I can do except for craft death runes, which I don't even think I'm high enough level to do. Uh, and Astrons, I'm not high enough level to do that, nor do I think I can do it in my areas. Maybe I can, but I, I'm not high enough level for either one, I don't think. Uh, but other than that, I also need to set up a U birdhouse, because I guess I never did. I think I'm just going to start doing some tasks now. I was, obviously, I was, I'm was i leveling up. I did a lot of grinding just to get some, uh, not tasks, some achievement diaries done. But I'm not doing them all yet. I'm still going to just do a bunch of tasks first to get that cleared down to hopefully so we can get closer to Mortania. And then I'll maybe go through and do some of the ta or the uh, achievement diaries, which will give us a lot of experience also. There's spin a ball of wool. There's sheep shear done, which is should have done a long time ago, but it's a nice, simple task to get done. 
And catch a herring. Nice. I've never done that, so it's nice easy 10 points right there. You know, sadly, ever since I planted these magic seed trees, I've never actually done them. So let's see, 13,000 experience. Only got one bird's nest, surprising. I thought I'd get more for magic seed, but set up a U1, which is another wonderful task complete. All right, we're going to make a grappling hook here. We got that. We had a grappling oh, I didn't even finish the grappling hook. I didn't think it count that as a thing, but now I made it a full grappling hook. So there. We made a mithril grapple, which is another little point task there. Here I go, getting sidetracked again. I went and cut a bunch of mahogany planks because I'm going to level up my construction. All right, well, that was a little expensive. <laughs> went from a million to 750,000, so it took 250k, basically, just to make all these. And I only had 160 logs teleported to my house for 73 magic. I'll take it. All right, now, show you my mighty method of gaining infinite levels and uh, construction here. If I can get into build mode here. All right, first things first, we have to build a room. Um, I don't really want to build it on this side, but we're going to for convenience sake. Time to make a dining room. Perfect. Uh, hmm, how should we do it? Let's let's rotate it. There we go. Perfect. Now, I don't remember how to get this run in real good here, but. Oh, well, anyway, let's say I'm out of planks. So obviously we need to get our planks real quick. I just need the money this run to buy this room. I just use my grand exchange teleport, grab my stuff and teleport right back with my home teleport. Easy peasy. I don't have everything set up, so it's a little ugly right now. Bam. And then I just home teleport. And I'm right here, and I need to set it to also come back in build mode. Look at this XP per hour right now. 2.6 mil, and then we just pop that on there. Get rid of it. Say, yep. Put it in here. And it just shoots back up again to 3 mil XP an hour. Disgusting, and I love it. Gaining levels left and right over here. And after that, we just teleport with our little ring back to Grand Exchange and teleport back and keep building. All right, well, 60 was my actual goal. I got to 61. There's a little bit more in my bank. The reason I got to 61, I mean, I didn't need to be this high, but I just wanted to get up there a little bit so I could be 60 on all stats later. And But I got this high so I could make a mahogany teleporter, so I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. I just got a little bit left in my bank. I'll come back and make us a room, and we'll get a teleporter. Now time to make a really expensive portal chamber. Mahogany portal. Boom, 50 point task that cost me 400,000 or something. Man, it doesn't run because of course I need the centerpiece, but yeah, we'll worry about that later. Well, I was doing some farm runs and I forgot I actually had a full key here. I got it a while back, I think when I was getting the Abyssal Whip, but I got the key and the reason I thought about the key is because I was like, man, a glory would be really nice to teleport to Draenor. And now that I think about it, I got the key which should let me go get the Dragonstone. Therefore, I can definitely make a glory. All right, let's hope for some, I don't know. I guess we can go for rune legs for just uh, Alks. I don't really remember what else it can drop me. So let's do this. Key, 150 iron ore. That's not horrible. I really wish that was 150 coal. It'd be way better. But you know what? We'll take it. We take what we get here. You know, we take what we get. All I really needed was the Dragonstone, and it was guaranteed to drop that. So now we just need to hope that we can't turn the Dragonstone into dust when we chisel it. And here we go. All right, nailed it. Now I need to go get the string, though, to actually make the glory. But we can't make one now, which is great. Hmm. I may have forgotten that the Dragonstone amulet is level 80 and not 75. We'll still make it, but not right away, because we do have to grind a little bit of crafting to get there. Not that that's impossible by any means. I could do it. I just, I'm, that's not my goal right now. So we'll do it later, I guess. Well, I also may have, I didn't really forget, but it kind of crossed, I didn't cross my mind that I forgot I had all the blue dragon leather also to tan up for a little bit of XP. And usually for speed, people will make the uh, bodies. Makes sense. I usually would make the blue dehyde bodies as well. 
but I'm actually going to make just the van braces. And the reason I'm going to do that is because of my uh, fifth relic equilibrium. Each time I tick for experience, it actually gives me my total level and experience as well. So that'll just be an extra amount of experience every time. So it'll be more total experience just to do the van braces than it'll be to do the bodies the whole time. It'll be a little slower because I'm, you know, doing them one at a time instead of three or four bodies. I guess three bodies at a time usually to make a chess piece, but I don't need the chess piece. These will probably be worth less money in total, but it's not really a big deal to me. I want the experience for the crafting, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. Well, I've just been mining my life away. Now I'm up to 96 with a boost on my mining, so we're at 84. Uh, while I've been AFKing, that's just all I've been doing, is sitting here, and I've gotten a lot of ore to help me towards my smithing grind. Unfortunately, it doesn't give me near enough coal. I wish it just gave me nothing but coal. That would be great. Also, while I was actually doing this mine, so obviously you do this to get gold nuggets so you can go to this guy and buy the prospector's outfit for more XP while you mine. I actually had 30 nuggets, uh, like I said in one of my last clips, to get the task done for getting 30, 30 nuggets. And I used 30 nuggets to buy the, the boots, but I was doing this on my phone at the time. Sorry, I'm a little congested. I apologize. Um, but I was doing this on the phone at the time, and I had my drop on, uh, which on the phone you can just tap to drop. Uh, I'm very angry at myself. I dropped the boots and never noticed because I was AFK. So we wasted 30 of those. I was hoping to just, while I slowly grinded this, to get the whole prospector's outfit because it's 100 points. I'm not going for it. It's just like I was doing this anyway. So if I got enough, I would have got it and got 100 points. But I don't see that happening now, really, because it's really expensive to make that outfit. And I don't really want to force myself to get it because it takes forever. I mean, this was a couple hours of just doing an AFK, so it wasn't efficient or anything, but, I mean, I gained two levels, and you don't gain a lot of XP here, to be honest. All right, well, we've, uh, I went ahead and the rest of the gold ore we have turned Bert back into gold bars, which was not bad. That gave us another magic level, and we are pretty close to 75, so we can use the, uh, trident pretty soon, and we also got our smithing up a level, and all, we're kind of close to 70-ish, so it's at 81. I need 10 more levels, really, to get the diary I'm aiming for with it but you know more experience is more experience and I do ha I could superheat some Addy ore again with some coal but we're just gonna wait on that till later and I'm gonna continue to go do some other tasks that I have in my mind now let's make ourselves a rune crossbow since we've had these collected for a while there's a rune crossbow now let's equip it and there's another task done and on that note, guys, it's been a long enough video. Unfortunately, we didn't get a n enough done to get to the next relic. It does take a lot of points, and I wish I could have crammed more into this episode, which I could have, but I didn't want to make it too long, uh, and I thought everything was explained well enough as it was. Everything's linked was at a nice pace. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to Keep up to date with everything. There is a Discord and a Twitter that both show when new things come out. It in, is in the description below. But next episode, we will probably do a Slayer grind and also continue with our point grind to hopefully get the next relic. Maybe even get the next area first. I'm not sure yet. So I'll see you guys for whatever we do next. See you later.